number 12, par 5. Um, a really enjoyable hole. Um, whole hole slopes left to right. Uh, it's basically what I do is I just hit it off, hit drive off the tee box, keep it up the left side of the fairway, uh, just allow for the bounce to right. Um, and then in the approach shot into the green, I try and stick to try and stick to the short of the flag, um, mainly because that green tends to bounce out. Last week's winner, Tyrion Nell, here on the par 5 12th, knocking that one up to within about 10 feet for birdie. Desne, 5 under for his round so far, 6 under for the tournament, coming out of the bunker. Fortunately, lost his tee shot, had to go back and reload. So this is for a bogey 6. Coming up a bit short. Making double bogey 7. Dropping back to 4 under for the tournament. Tyrion now for his birdie. That just slips past. It's currently 4 under for this round. 5 under for the tournament. Don't, that's a par. Still lots of birdies to be made out there. Armand now jumping for Eagle from the right of the green. Oh so close. But kind of birdie putts. I'm sure he likes. Takes him to minus three for the tournament. Romano now from the rough chipping for Eagle. This could go in. Fortunately, stopping just short. Tap in birdie. 200 for this round, 400 for the tournament. Basil now. Five birdies and one bogey up to here. Trying for another birdie. That one online, just a fraction short. Nice birdie. Solid round on the go. Ricky, after four birdies, an eagle, unfortunately, two bogeys, another eagle attempt, and this one coming up, woefully short, trying now for his birdie, that one slipping past the front of the hole. Six under, at the moment, in the mix, not too happy about making par, in that reachable par five. Galvin, all the way from Malaysia, Currently one under for this round. S hit that one to the back left portion of the green. Carl now got lucky not to end up in the bushes. Chipping for Eagle. Jeremy now chipping for Eagle. That one rolling out nicely. Well Left himself a foot and a half for birdie. Getting back to level for this round, minus two for the tournament. Galvin now for his birdie. That one just sliding past. Carl trying to get it to seven under. Fortunately, that one just too steamy for that line, lipping out on the top side. It's a two-putt par to the main six under for the tournament. Galvin trying to tidy up now. Nicely done. Nicholas now from the center of the fairway. Nice approach. About six feet for birdie. Could get him to minus eight. Simon coming from the bunker. Fortunately, he'll have that for par. Got a level round going at the moment. Oh, and he's cleaned up nicely. Good up and down from the young amateur. Big learning curve for him this final day. Bradley now currently five under for the tournament. Two putt, birdie, nice birdie, taking him to six under, having a good tournament. 
after that good chip Nicholas Roberti he's done that very nicely moving him to minus 8 for the tournament Fritz Oren chipping that one not releasing like he thought it would left himself long birdie attempt that one just slides by tapping path currently five under contemplating why that chip didn't run Let's see Jonathan now chipping for eagle fortunately just sliding past what a tap in birdie which will get him back to level for his round and four under for the tournament Gregory now long putt for eagle that one racing on by wasn't going to leave that one short he's left himself about eight feet back up the slope and that one was solidly knocked in moving him to eight under par michael now way right with his second shot bumping and running that through the rough nicely on the green this will be one great up and down if he happens to make it and he does Fortunately, not the best rounds on the go at the moment, but moves him back to five under. Our overnight leader, chipping from left of the green for Eagle. Good effort. Leaving himself a three foot for Birdie. Rolls that in nicely, moves him to minus eight. Joint leader now. Jason, long eagle putt. That one just running out of steam a little bit. Missed one or two of these little ones today, but that one in knocks in very solidly. Currently at six under for the tournament. If I had a dollar for every time I played a round of golf with an amateur using the wrong golf ball, I'd probably have my own private island by now. The Strix on soft field is the choice for players who need distance and accuracy in a softer, low compression golf ball. The all new soft field has a large core offering incredible distance and an even softer cover for awesome feel around the greens. So take it from someone who's seen a lot of people who play the wrong ball. Try the all new soft field.